Now, the best way to introduce my topic is to make a point about information in a socialist society. This is a sophisticated audience. You know about distortion and suppression and elimination of the facts. We live in a socialist society, and suppression of information is typical of such societies. To eliminate freedom, one must first eliminate widespread knowledge of the truth. So I submit to you that today in the United States there are three levels of information. The first level, we could call the establishment version. It's what most people have believed in the past to be true about events and history. The difference today compared with, say, a decade ago is that the credibility of the establishment has been shattered. People in general no longer believe in Washington or anything that comes out of Washington. So this first level is what the government or the establishment wants you to know. Only coincidentally is it the truth. The criteria they use are two, I suggest. One, they say, what do we want them to know? And secondly, they say, is it consistent with what we told them last time? And sometimes they slip up and then the statements become inoperable. Then we have the second level of information, sometimes called the revisionist level. It challenges the first level, but it's still based on documents and information released by the bureaucrats and politicians in Washington. It does not get to the root of the problem. It doesn't get to the root of the problem because it relies mainly on facts which they decide can be released. I would suggest, and I hope you won't take this unduly critically, that the critics of the Kennedy assassination probably fall within this category. There's no question they're onto something. But they're still at the second level because they rely on information which it has be, been decided can be released. They will not get to the third level until they get all the information within government files, and that, I understand, may take 75 or 100 years. Then we get to the third level, and I suggest that Presumably, almost everybody or everybody in this room is operating or wants to operate on the third level. It is based on new documentary evidence that has to be rooted out from the research viewpoint. You have to know where to look. You have to know about its existence. You have to demand it. You have to get it declassified. You must accept, when you're in my position, that when you initially publish it, most people will not believe you. They will not believe you because the establishment version got in there first and the mess of the media, and I'm not blaming the media for this, got behind it and publicized what they believe to be the truth. 